Hey guys, Dennis Letter Magic here. Kind of playing catch up here because I forgot to uh, cover this when I initially heard about it. But uh, this news did completely fly under the radar. I don't think many people have heard about this. So as of uh, at least three or four months ago, uh, it was very subtly announced, I guess, to the public that Hasbro specifically is going to be, I guess, probably working in coordination with somebody else to open a resort and water park with Magic the Gathering partially themed attractions. I love how in every video I still act like it's some big reveal, even though I already know I'm going to put it in the title, first of all. And furthermore, I guarantee you Future Des is going to Photoshop something completely over the top for the thumbnail. So anyway, uh, this announcement, I guess, came from Hasbro, not from Wizards of the Coast themselves. And they stated that they're going to make an indoor water park and family resort themed around their biggest franchises. And remember, it's like Transformers, Nerf, Monopoly. I mean, they got some big ones. Hasbro ain't no joke. Oh, except for their stockholder presentations every year or quarter or whatever. Those have to be a joke. As in, they have got to be kidding. Anyway, uh, they're teaming up with some mega corp called uh, Imagine Resorts and Hotels. And they're going to create just basically the Hasbro Resort. And as weird as that might sound on the surface, I mean, everybody knows Disney is like everywhere. They, they, I mean, the resorts are their thing and, you know, licensing their brands and stuff. That's what they do. And plus, duh, Disney World. But I've actually seen like Hanna-Barbera themed resorts. I'm not sure any are still open, but I've seen them. So details are a little bit scarce because it's not supposed to open until 2022. So I mean, honestly, how finalized could the plans really be? But they are planning on not just like a water park area, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, they're going to have themed rooms. Hey, maybe they'll do like a blue-white control themed room where the second you walk through the door, they just kick you right in the balls. Hey, maybe they'll have a mill deck themed room where the second you walk in, the staff says, oh, can I take your luggage? Yeah, thanks. And then they just shake it out upside down out the window. Hey, maybe there'll be an infect mechanic themed room and it's full of poison gas. Oh, you guys don't even want to know how many more I have, but I think the joke's been played. Except for the coin flip mechanic deck heavy Magic the Gathering themed room, where they flip a coin and if it comes up tails, you actually don't get the room you have to sleep outside in your car. Okay, okay, I'll stop there, but the comment section certainly is not going to. I guarantee if you scroll down, you are going to get like an entire stand-up comedy one-hour special worth of content of people coming up with different themed rooms for Magic the Gathering decks. Uh, super friends, you get five bellhops and they won't leave your room. No matter what you'd throw at them, they you, you can't get rid of them. Yeah, I lied. I never was intending to stop. Anyway, I should say that um, Magic the Gathering is not the only brand involved, obviously. It's a Hasbro resort, so it'll be MTG, but also Monopoly. That's huge. That'll be kind of cool. Uh, Candyland. I thought that was made by a different company, but I'll just assume they probably bought them. Uh, and My Little Pony. Oh, that'll attract the uh, best of the best community has to offer. Why don't they just uh, throw a furry convention there, too? I'd say no offense to the MLP fans, but besides literally one person and you know who you are, double-digit percentages of the rest of y'all are some freaky pervs. Uh, also, they got Nerf. Okay, that just is cool. I could come up with a million ideas of how cool they could make that. Mr. Potato Head. I mean, okay. I mean, if I wake up in the middle of the night in an unfamiliar bed because I forgot that I'm not at home and the first thing I see is a giant six-foot-tall Mr. Potato Head at the foot of my bed staring me in the eyes, I am going to lose my <laughs> Depending upon, like, how groggy I am, that mother is going out the window with a shotgun blast between his eyes. Yes, I actually do bring a shotgun with me when I travel for work or for vacations. Uh, what else they got? Hungry Hungry Hippos. That's one that they had in the press release, I guess. Um... I mean, like, a giant version in, like, a play area with beach balls would be cool. I don't know if a, a themed room would be great. But then again, like, this is my first impression. I'd love to see what they do with it, and very smart people are behind this. What if it's just basically a room for fatties, and they're just trying to be nice about it? I mean, maybe it comes with, like, free room service or something, which I'm sure is included in the cost. You know, come on. But what if it, like, had a permanently stocked, like, they will come refill it every, like, 30 minutes salad bar? Very high maintenance, very expensive, very waste of staff resources. I don't think they'll actually do that. I'm just spitballing here. I mean, some big old fatty 450-pound dude comes up with his family, waddles up to the uh, front desk, and he's like, oh, themed rooms, uh, which one do you think would be right for me? I don't know. They'll just be like, you you, you want the hungry, hungry hippos one. I'm just saying, I'm, you know, I'm just saying. I think, I think you, just getting a vibe, would enjoy it. I mean, it's way better than the blue-white control themed one. Where they just kick in the balls when you walk in. That's one of our more authentic rooms, but it hasn't been one of our more popular ones, sir. So the location of this resort hasn't been released yet, but Imagine Resorts is based in Madison, Wisconsin. There's literally no reason to believe that they would 
like plant it across the street from themselves or something. They're just, they're the company just managing it and making the blueprints probably and planning the attractions and stuff. But if they put it in Wisconsin, especially like Wisconsin Dells, which is the water park capital of, I don't know, I think it was the world, and then it was like the biggest, and then it wasn't. We'll just say the world. Seriously, if you've never heard of it, like I've been there like 10 times on vacation. I mean, come on, that's where everybody from Wisconsin goes. But yeah, they got some baller freaking water park. So if they go there and do one there, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's just put it that way. So if that's true, oh, you know I'm going to go visit and just vlog the crap out of it. There is some sort of odd relation too between Imagine Resorts and Great Lakes Companies, which operates uh, Great Wolf Resorts. You've probably heard of that. They're the largest. So theoretically, since those are everywhere, it could go anywhere. So hopefully it'll come near you if you're interested. But I mean, it won't be open until at least 2022, and I'm sure World War III will have started by then. Oh, by the way, I love this statement from uh, the co-founder of Imagine Resorts. Which actually, I think they released like the press statements, not Hasbro. But anyway, he said, Hasbro is the ideal partner for our new endeavor. It's family-friendly, globally relevant brands provide us with an amazing palette to work with as we create the ultimate vacation resort for families and fans. Bro, I'm saying mix them all together. Okay, let's go. Hungry Hungry Hippos, like that's the venue. Nerf Guns, that's the weapons. And Dungeons & Dragons, that's the theme. Like legit, Rangers versus Wizards. Riding into battle on Hungry Hungry Hippos. And they're all like dodging in and out behind like a, an inflatable paintball field of Magic the Gathering cards that are like seven feet tall. And obviously most of them would of course be famous walls from the game because memes. Oh, Hasbro did chime in. They said, we are thrilled to work with Imagine's deeply experienced leadership to bring Hasbro brands to life in exciting new ways. Both of those statements, I guarantee, were written by some, like, PR marketing person anyway. So, blah, 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 marketing, fluff, yay, they're great, whatever, who cares? Uh, this was the uh, senior VP of Consumer Products, I believe, Casey Cullens, who said, uh, he, he went on to say, I should say, he said the first part, and then he went on to say, our goal is to bring engaging brand experiences to audiences everywhere, and we are confident that Imagine's new resort and water park will provide families with a memorable one-of-a-kind experience. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. I mean, there's not another one like this. I mean, hey, if I go visit, I will not give them a five-star review unless my room service is delivered by Jace Bellerin himself. Now, get this. It goes a little bit deeper, actually, because uh, a water park isn't the only thing that's in the works. They, as in Hasbro, is licensing out a chain of family entertainment centers. And you're probably thinking, well, what's the difference? That sounds really similar. Um, I would guess it's like a, a, an attraction-themed entertainment short-term thing that just isn't a hotel. So they're also partnering with uh, some company called Kilburn Live to build these family entertainment centers, uh, multiple of them actually, across uh, the U.S. and Canada. And if you're looking for any semblance of a specific detail, you don't know corporate PR speak because they're going to, quote, create interactive, immersive, and innovative entertainment experiences in a high-energy, gamified environment with multiple activity zones. So, I mean, that is kind of specific while also being terrifically open to vagueness. Well, I mean, the possibilities are kind of endless with what they just said, but that's probably kind of the point. So, I mean, you got your arcades, you got your, like, laser tag places, and then you got your places that have, like, laser tag and arcades, and you got, like, trampoline parks and all that. They might just take any of that and just throw it all together in a thing and just call it an entertainment center. I mean, we've all probably been to something that kind of resembles that. I mean, hell, I think there's one in Illinois that also has, like, a movie theater in it and, like, restaurants. It's mostly just, like, a mall, really. But I think it literally was a mall, and I'm just confused. And this is where it gets really weird, because I looked up Kilburn Live to try and, like, maybe compare this to something else, and, you know, will it just be an effective reskin of something they've already made? Uh, yeah. You're probably wondering why the word live is in there. It's because, well, first of all, it's, it, it's Kilburn Media, it's not Kilburn Live, and secondly, I guess that's a branch of Kilburn Media, and they make, uh, TV shows and movies. And that's it. They do not make, nor have they ever made, family entertainment centers. So that's interesting. The best guess is that Kilburn Live is trying to expand to this type of market, but that means they've never done this before. Companies that have never done something before and are trying something brand new don't tend to succeed quite as often as a company that specializes in it, like a resort company that builds resorts. They're probably not going to screw it up if they've been around long enough. I mean, maybe they might still, but the, you would think the probability would be lower. So the rumor, at least the narrative that I'm hearing from people putting together some of the pieces is Kilburn may have basically sniped the former CEO of Main Event Entertainment, which does do things like this. They do build various types of uh, entertainment centers. And uh, anyway, his name's Charlie Keegan. So now 
he's going to like kind of know what he's doing and they'll just finance it maybe. So like maybe it won't be a complete dumpster fire. Although if they did want to do a Magic the Gathering themed uh, entertainment center, they should just let you light a dumpster on fire. Like literally just throw a match in and watch it burn because that would be a pretty good representation of the standard meta in the last two and a half years in Magic the Gathering. So anyway, they intend to include, oh, here we go, My Little Pony. They're going to have to serve alcohol at this place. Anyway, Monopoly, Mr. Potato Head, G.I. Joe, Clue, Battleship, Hungry Hungry Hippos, hell yeah, Trivial Pursuit, that's weird, Shoots and Ladders, I mean, that's, that's just a gimme, and um, other unannounced brands, as they're putting it. So, strangely missing from that list is Magic the Gathering or Dungeons and Dragons, but both, I would think, have, like, at least, like, a 30 to 40, like, age range, typically. I mean, that's just what I've heard, what I've seen from my own YouTube demographics. It's not like nobody, like, 12 plays Magic, but, you know, and these places are, like, usually oriented to, you know, families, in other words, families with kids, but they tend to not, like, shut out people who have more money, so if they make it more like a couple that I've been to at a lot of like resort towns in Wisconsin and stuff, well, and apparently Illinois, like it wouldn't be that weird to see like some bachelor party or just like a group of like college dudes or whatever, like some 35 year olds ditching their wives for the day and just go in to hang out at some entertainment place because not everything's for kids. You know, they usually kind of sectionalize it off or hell, maybe the ladies are having a day out. I mean, everybody loves fun except for control deck players. They hate fun. So, I mean, if you've ever been to, like, a Dave and Buster's, like, they are like, yeah, it's an arcade, there's lots of flashing lights and fun games and tickets and crap, duh, we're gonna attract kids. But in every single advertisement, it's always, like, middle-aged folks. Or at least, like, 20 plus. So that they're like, let's make it perfectly clear this is just basically an adult arcade, and by adult, I don't mean, like, pervy. And if you think about it, that kind of target demographic, which is just literally everyone of every age and every gender and everything who cares, that will make more money. And people my age still freaking love arcade games. So you give us the old wink and nod, yeah, it's okay to be an adult here. Oh, we're going. My friends are all showing up. Let's do it. So with that said, I mean, do I think they would rule out Magic the Gathering or Dungeons and Dragons? Probably not. But is it like too adult or scary or whatever, violent or f whatever for kids? Not really. Never has been. I mean, some of the early card imagery and, you know, some of the card artwork is kind of, eh. And the game is technically rated, what, 12 plus, 13 plus, something like that. But at the end of the day, these uh, entertainment places, it, it would really suck if none of them had anything related to basically two of Hasbro's biggest IPs. I mean, it's supposed to attract families and make money. It isn't a commercial for Hasbro. But come on, you gotta throw something in. At least let me, like, throw ping pong balls into Liliano's mouth for tickets. Or I don't know. That sounded ten times weirder when I said it than it did in my head. You know what? Give me one of those things where it, it tells you how fast you whip the freaking baseball, and then you get, like, points if you hit Jason in the head. How about that? So anyway, we're light on details, but I'll read the rest of the corporate fluff BS. Uh, our partnership with Kilburn will, will allow us, for the first time ever, to offer a wholly immersive and true play experience that unlocks a totally new and exciting way for fans to experience the Hasbro family of brands. Well, I'm glad you got a business and an English degree, and probably didn't write that yourself. So yeah, it's weird that Kilburn's doing it, but this uh, Charlie Keegan dude, I mean, he's made bowling alleys, laser tag arenas, ropes courses, uh, I think actual video games? Like, or like arcade games? Uh, billiards places, virtual reality games and attractions and locations, and a bunch of other stuff. So, hey, but I mean, I don't think like, you know, the, the CEO of the company is sitting there drawing blueprints and like designing the attractions himself. It's really the staff and the engineers and stuff under him. So this could still flop miserably depending upon who they hire and how good they are at their job. So which one would you want to go to more, the water park or the entertainment zone? I, I think pretty much everybody would be like, yeah, entertainment zone, duh, because, you know, chlorine. And like, you know, resorts are way more expensive. Like it just, you know, I, I'd just rather go to like an entertainment center for a day. I think a lot of people are on the same page there, but I don't know. Maybe you're like, no, I want to take my uh, family on a vacation to a resort. That'd be cool. I mean, water parks, uh, swimming, that, it very, very closely resembles exercise, okay? I do not go on a vacation to exercise. In fact, I'll be in the Hungry Hungry Hippos room if you need me. I heard it comes with a salad bar, I'm just saying. So what do you guys think? Want to visit it? Want to visit both? What do you think? Will it flop? Will it not? Do you think it'll be popular? Do you think it'll spread? Do you think that they should just have a Gatewatch-themed taco promotion at Taco Bell instead? Oh, who am I kidding? You're still making jokes down in the comments section even this far into the video about deck-themed rooms. 
So, definitely one of the weirdest news stories I have ever reported on in the entire world of Magic the Gathering and Hasbro in the entire history of my channel. And I think you'll find that I treated it with an appropriate level of seriousness, given the subject matter. So, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more crazy videos and content like this. And I will see you guys next video.